Why are you wearing a sweater? Let me pat you down. Next time you wear a sweater, be careful because this officer is waiting for you outside to pat you down. This innocent man was on his way and he was wearing a sweater. The officer stopped him and accused him of having a weapon. According to the officer, he looks suspicious. Without asking any questions, the officer pats him down. Watch what happens next. Share your opinion in the comments. Wait, he's gonna pat me down for a weapon. I'm just gonna pat you down, make sure you don't have a weapon, right? Wait, what do you mean? Put your hand real quick. You, you can keep recording. You keep recording. I'm just gonna put your hand right here. You're not, I'm not gonna arrest you or anything, okay? I don't wanna break your phone. Either. What the heck? You can't pat me down, that's illegally searching. It's not, I'm not searching you, I'm patting you down. Again, it's super hot, you have baggy sweater. Yeah. I wanna make sure you don't have any weapons. Okay? I appreciate it, man. Like I said, it's just, you know, super hot. I can't see what's under that, right? It's gonna be last of Villanueva. Keep that, stay back. So like I said, man, uh, the main thing is safety, right? Cause it, you just riding across like that, it's unsafe. Uh, so I'm not intending to give you a ticket or nothing. Yeah. But more or less, I wanna make just sure- Just for a legal search, yeah. What's that? Oh, okay, so yeah, go ahead. So I wanted to make sure that you're aware of uh, what you need to do when you're riding a bike. You gotta obey the same traffic laws, all right? Yeah. All right, so just sit tight really quick. I'm just gonna wait for your return. And if everything's good, you'll be good to go. Okay, for sure. Right. In the end, the officer told him, I was just curious, you are free to leave. This video is a perfect example of a cop with an ego. Trust me, end of this video will completely devastate you. A police officer stopped his innocent man for a traffic violation. The officer accused him of overspeeding However, the man is well aware of his rights. He refused to provide any details, stating that during a traffic stop, he is not required to provide information unless suspected of committing a crime. He asked the officer how fast I was speeding. How did you check it? The officer has no answer. He was like, it, 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 it went, it went, stop stuttering. Literally stuttering. But things went wrong when the other officer arrived. The officer refused to answer any questions, started rolling his gloves and threatened to break his car window. Watch what happens next. Share your opinion in the comments. I can hear you, so we can. I can get your supervisor. Get your supervisor out here, sir. Get your supervisor out here, sir. Get your supervisor out here, sir. Do you understand me? Do you know who you with? You better run my goddamn tags again. Get your goddamn supervisor. Shut the f up. What crime did I commit? Since I'm a suspect, what crime? Improper lane change. Improper lane change. So no blinker, right, sir? That's, it, 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 it went, it went. Stop stuttering. No, no blinker. Speeding. How fast was I going, sir? How fast was I going, sir? How fast was I going, sir? What's your name and your badge number? What's your name and your badge number, punk? What's your name, punk? I will be filing a complaint on you too. Speeding. How fast was I going? Sir, you were doing more than 40 miles an hour. How fast was I going, sir? You pulled me over for speeding. I was going more than 40? How fast was I going, punk? Okay, it's all right. I just asked for you to roll down the back window because I can't see into your car. F you. The windows rolled down. I can hear you. Perfectly fine. What if I don't know if you have a gun pointed at me right now, huh? Yeah, the gun, this is a gun, right? This is a gun, y'all. He just said he does not know if it's a gun pointed at him right now. This is a gun, y'all. This is what we're considering a gun nowadays, y'all. I'm a black man. This is, this is, look at this fucking coward. Look at this coward, y'all. We're gonna make him fucking famous. He's gonna be fucking famous. He's gonna be fucking famous. You're gonna be famous, sir. Watch. I just asked you to roll down the back window. And I rolled it down. I can hear you perfectly fine, punk, like I said. You said not. You started getting all amped up for nothing. Sorry, like I said, I can hear you perfectly fine. I don't have to roll my window all the way down to make you feel comfortable. Everything, the speed limit and everything is on dash cam. We're going to have fun in court with you, man. I swear I am. Provide your driver's license information. Uh, uh, under what crime do you suspect me of committing, sir? Traffic infractions, roll down your window. What, what crime do you suspect me of committing, sir? He said that he suspect me of speeding, okay? Now he said that, and it, it, it's all recorded. It's all recorded right there. That's a dash cam, you see that, right? Okay. All recorded, okay? He said that he suspect me of going 
over 40 miles. Over 40. So if he said over 40, clearly he doesn't have anything on the radar. Over 40, all right? And everything is documented right here on my car, okay? First off, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm talking. I'm talking right now. I'm talking right now. I'm talking. Second, I asked for a supervisor, sir. You're going to listen to what I'm saying because right now I'm pissed the f off because of this bullshit. I'm sure you don't care. I'm sure you're going to back the blue as well. And I'm sure you probably got tyranny as well. All of y'all are tyranny. I understand. Second of all, he said improper lane change. When clearly I had turn signals on to, 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 to show which lane I was going in. All right? Second off, after I, after I stated that, now he want to say uh, reckless driving. And I understand you putting your gloves on like you're finna break into my car or something. Now, if, you, if you're threatening me with arrest, if that's what you're threatening me with, or any kind of bodily harm, I give you my license. But I guarantee you I'll see you in court. Okay, so here's how this works, okay? I guarantee I'll see you in court. Come on, talk. You talk, my turn, okay? So the way this works is you argue it in court, okay? If he decides to write you a ticket or not. But on the traffic stop, you have to provide... I don't have to provide nothing, sir, unless you, unless you suspect okay. me of committing a crime. So here's how it works. Okay? Unless you suspect me of committing a crime. Provide your information, you go to jail for those crimes. Well, thank you, sir, for thank you, sir, for violating my rights okay. and threatening me with the rest. Okay. No? Thank, thank you for violating my rights and threatening me with the rest. All right. You now I'm gonna. Hey, listen to me. I'm talking right now. Okay. Listen, listen, no? listen, Linda. Listen. Now I'm gonna reach for my license. Okay. Now I'm gonna reach for my license. All right. Don't. Sh me, all right, because I understand y'all are tyranny out here, so just let me reach for my stuff, okay? Without you trying to do me, all right, pump. All right, pump, just hold on. Let me reach for my license, all right? Here you go, right here, pump. Do you have your insurance, sir? Write me a ticket for it so I can see y'all in court. Do you have your insurance? Write me a ticket so I can see y'all in court. Okay, hang tight. Write me a ticket so I can see all of y'all in court. What, what's got you so mad? Bro? I need everybody name and badge number. So I need everybody name and badge number. I answer no questions. Thank you. I need everybody name and badge number. That's all about I need right now. And I'll see everybody in court. Whoever, everybody that showed up out here, I will be filing a complaint because this right here is nothing but tyranny. You know, my window don't work. You can come right here and I'll let the window down. You can explain it right there. Man, come on, dude, man. I can talk to you, bro. Come on. I don't got to let my window down for y'all, man. What the all right, Mr. Ward, you're getting started with two things today. Uh, drivers to exercise uh, due care, and then your no insurance if you refuse to uh, give us your insurance today, okay? So with that being said, you're getting cited. You must appear in general sessions Wednesday, April 24th at 1030. Do you understand that? Yes, no, go myself, something. Okay, all right. Will you sign this saying that you understand you must appear in court at that time? By law, do I got to sign it? No, I just re hit refuse, and if you don't appear, then they'll just suspend your driver's license. Look, that's fine. I'm going to be there. I'm going to make sure I'm there. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I'm there. If you refuse to sign the citation, then you have to go to jail on those charges. So, okay, so now you tell me I got to go to jail, but he just said... It, it, right, it, he's it, mistaken, okay? So, so he's mistaken. The not an admission of guilt or anything like that. The signature just says that you're going to appear in court. So why I got to sign it if he just said I didn't have to sign it, though? I just told you he was mistaken, okay? But he's an officer of the law, right? So I'm saying like I'm arguing the finer points right here, okay? I'm telling you that if you don't sign the citation, then we have to take you to jail, okay? Give me the give, come on, get to me, cause y'all ain't about to fuck up my shit. Y'all ain't about to fuck me up. I know y'all understand y'all wanna put hands on me. Man, come on, I'm not retarded, brother. Just give me the man. Okay, I'm just showing you like I do everything. Okay, I plead the fifth, but give me get get to me so I go ahead and sign it. Okay. And I got dance cam just just to let y'all know. Okay. So when we do go to court, everything will be there to be to be presented in the law. You have a fence. Here's your copy right here. You can just drop it in here, man. Right there, okay? Just drop it in here. Can I get your name Here's and your, your badge number? Here's your just drop everything right there so I'm going to see, brother. Can I get right. your name and your badge number? Have a good day. Can I get your name and your badge number? Have a good day. Be careful driving. Okay, so she's not identifying herself, right? Hey. She's not identifying herself? I need her name and her badge number. I need her name and her badge number. I need her name and her badge number. So, so, so she's not gonna give me her name and her badge number, right? Back in the car. Okay, well I'll make sure that I I will make sure I'll make sure that I I'll make sure when I go down there and file a complaint on all of y'all that I'll make sure I put it on there. In your car. I got you. Because you're causing a problem now. I'm causing the problem. Why I'm standing up for my rights, sir? She's supposed to get she's supposed to give me her name and her badge number. 
She's supposed to give me her name and her badge number. And Lee. All of y'all. <laughs> She supposed to give me her name and her badge number. And you're a terrible fucking sergeant. I guarantee you. Binghamton police officers searched this homeless man's shopping cart without any cause. Luckily, this rebel man was going from the same area. He noticed the search and started filming. He asked the officer the probable cause for their search. However, the officer refused to provide any details and instead accused the man of interfering in the investigation. The officers argue that they don't need probable cause or reasonable suspicion to search the homeless man's possessions. The officer warned him, if you interfere with our investigation, you will be in trouble. Watch what happens next. Share your opinion in the comments. I'd be interfering. I'm just having a conversation with this man. And I, he just got all of his stuff strewn out on the ground, searching him. Like, what was your probable cause of searching him? You don't need probable yeah, cause was. to search. You need reasonable right. suspicion. Oh, what was your reasonable suspicion then? I don't have to tell you. You do have to provide him with reasonable suspicion, though, don't you? No, not really. No, you don't have to. I got all your stuff on the ground here, man. Actually, it was already on the ground, so. Was it? Yeah, it was. We're actually picking it up. You're picking it up as I see you going through each of his bags and looking at his stuff. Why? What crime do you think he committed? I see him walking down here all the time. I've never, anybody ever say anything about him stealing anything. It looks like all the stuff he has in his possession are things that were either given to him or picked out of trash. Oh, you know that for a fact? Oh, it looks like it. Does it look like he has any valuables? <laughs> you don't think like this guy's struggling? And you're out here. We already offered him to take him to the um, to general, but he refused. But why were you? Why does he need to go to the hospital? We offered to take him because he says he has back pain. You have back pain. They said they don't have to provide him with the. No, I said I don't have to provide him. you. No, you said you. I said you don't have to provide him, and as you long said as no, I not know really. I have it, that's none of your business. Yeah, well, I don't see what crime you would think he's committing by walking down the street. He wasn't walking down the street. Oh, what was he doing? That's none of your business as well. I think it's as much of my business as yours. No, it's actually not. It's not. Is, he, is anybody unsafe because he's standing here? Well, multiple people called. Multiple people called and yeah. said there's a man walking down the road. No. Nope. They're standing on the side of the road. Nope. Multiple people called because the man was laying on the side of the road. Okay, is that illegal? No, it's not. No, it's, it's not. This is public property. Uh, yeah, literally up to four feet off the side of the road and off the side of the sidewalk is public oh. property. That's why the man's fence is over there and not right here. Okay. And I'm sure if it was over here, he wouldn't be on that side of it oh. like he's on this side of it. It's fine. You guys just, I know how you guys harass homeless people. I see it all the time. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Us specifically, me and my partner? No, the Binghamton Police Department. We're watching yeah, we you do it right We're now. watching you literally search all of this stuff right now because you had calls that he was sitting on the side of the road. Okay. There's probable cause. Oh, you, now it's probable cause after you found it, after illegally I'm searching him? I didn't search him. I just watched you open up his stuff and then look there, that's through. That's reasonable suspicion to search. What was? What was the suspicion? I don't need to give it to you. Yeah, exactly. You if you guys this, interfere with our this is an interference. This is a conversation. Would, yeah, you guys don't need to be. Could, could you please I can be here. A couple this steps back for us, please. Oh, that's fine. Let's stand right here. Watch out. People are going through something sometimes. You know, it's like that's embarrassing. It's tough. You know, finding paraphernalia or drugs under an unlawful search is uh, not admissible in court. You know that? Ground, yeah. Yeah, After you already started picking stuff up, I could easily see how that could have fell out when you were looking oh, through his stuff. Do you have that on video? I've been recording since I got up here. I know you have, and I don't care. That's fine. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I, freaking, I got a slushy and yes. You know, fuck, I'm working hard. You have to vacate, okay? Yes, sir. I will. Okay, Sean. Thank you. Have a nice night. Y'all have a nice night, too. You guys as well. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel. Our goal is to educate people on First Amendment rights. Make sure you like our videos as much as possible. We will see you in the next video.